Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see my 4th of July festivities. So we are actually on our way to church. So we're going to like a church event and we're gonna celebrate and barbecue or cook out, whatever you call it, wherever you live. And so I have made a few things that I'll show you guys right now. We had to bring a dessert and a side and I literally didn't go buy anything. It was just stuff I had and so I was really proud of myself. <laughs> Usually I make um, like pasta salad or something like that, but I said, well, what do I have that I can just take with me? And it worked out really good. I'm actually in charge of decorating as well, so are on our way early to get everything decorated. What are you in charge of, Anthony? Eating. Eating and? I gotta make the food. You got a grill, I'm so the he's, grill guy. he's in charge of the grill. And I'm the griller today. What are you in charge of, Ryan? Having fun. Oh dear. Making sure everyone has fun. <laughs> if I see one frowny face, I'm gonna turn it upside down. <laughs> All right, so come along with us and I will show you our 4th of July stuff. Okay guys, this is my secret dessert that when you don't have time to make a dessert, this is what I make. And I've done it a couple different times. And a lot of times if I buy two packages of these, I make a huge platter and nobody knows that I didn't home make chocolate chip cookies. Everybody loves chocolate chip cookies, especially if you're going somewhere that has like kids because this is just easy. And I just broke them apart, put them on my cookie sheet. I am waiting for my oven to heat up. But other than that, I'm good to go. I'm gonna cook the rest of this other half once these are done. And the only thing that I do is I make sure I cook it, um, if it says, like this one says 10 to 14 minutes, and I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes. So cook it the lowest and just let them come out and be chewy basically, and the makes the best cookies ever. So I had some things that I wanted to use up. So instead of creating something totally new, I'm just gonna do a vegetable tray. So I have these peppers that I got from Sam's Club. I have a ton of carrots. I have cucumber. I have some uh, baby tomatoes over there. And I actually have more tomatoes and I have more cucumbers. So I'm gonna see. What I'm really gonna do is just fill up this, it's like a square casserole dish. And I'm gonna put a little cup in the middle for dip and I'll be good. So get to cutting.
all right guys that is it look at how easy that was just threw it all together everything i had i've never actually made one that had cucumbers in it um really so or peppers um usually i do like broccoli cauliflower tomatoes and carrots i think and olives so i am waiting to get more ranch so i just use a bottle dressing because it's easy and looks pretty right except you have to keep your husband from eating all the things i said stop eating the things <laughs> Good. Then you keep him around to take your things out of the oven though. Check these out. Can you not go wrong with some chocolate chip cookies? Oh my goodness. That I didn't even have to stir up. Trying to find some last minute 4th of July stuff. This is what I'm running into. So I have a few contenders. So I just want to come on here quick and end my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we had a blast um, just hanging out with our church family. And I think that everything turned out good. There was way more tables than I thought. But because they were predicting like thunderstorms and rain here, um, I think they put up extra tables. So it wasn't as decorated as I would hope. But all my vegetables got eaten up. Cookies were like gone in two seconds. Um, I should have probably made, got two packs, and but what can you do? So we had a blast. I've enjoyed sharing the fourth with you, and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.